Ahead of a possible run for president, former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg seems to be making a big push to win over black voters. Speaking Sunday at the Christian Cultural Center in Brooklyn, Bloomberg told the congregation that he got it wrong regarding the NYPD's stop and frisk policy, which gave officers authority to stop and search anyone they suspected of a crime. Bloomberg previously stood by the policy, even after a federal judge ruled in 2013 that it violated the constitutional rights of minorities. I can't change history. However, today, I want you to know that I realized back then I was wrong, and I'm sorry. But I also want you to know that I am more committed than ever to ending gun violence. All right, let's bring back tonight's A-plus panel. We're joined by Republican strategist Allison Young and radio talk show host Garland Nixon. Allison, I'll start with you on this. Uh, hard not to see the politics and the positioning here, um, but how on one hand do you talk about ending gun violence and the other hand um, dismiss, just because it was unpopular, a policy that you could argue got a ton of illegal guns off the street? because he went from being a citizen to being a candidate. So that this is overtly political, of course. And what I do, the cynical part of me says he flubbed this a little bit by saying, I was just trying to save lives when I support it. So is he not trying to save lives now? But I will say, as a rational person, you want a candidate who is willing to rethink some of his previous policy ideas based on the context in which we're now living. It's not a bad move, it was just delivered badly. Garland, what do you think? I mean, this is this is a guy that inherited a much safer city when Rudy Giuliani took over, and he kind of took it to the next level with the stop and frisk going beyond broken windows and addressing the small crimes. But at the same time, uh, it's a complete reversal. Is this just pandering, thinking that someone, because of the color of their skin, are going to then decide to vote for him? I would think it is. In fact, he was constantly told by people from the black community and the Latino community that it was unjust, and it was eventually ruled unconstitutional. If he'd have came out after a judge ruled it unconstitutional and said, perhaps in hindsight it was a bad idea, sure. But he waits until he's running for office. And now all of a sudden he has this great epiphany. I think it comes across. The word that comes to mind is craven. <laughs> okay, thank you guys.